Welcome to 8.9's Math Moment. Today, students worked with unit cubes and how that relates to volume in a cube and a rectangular prism. So we're going to look at some examples. The first one says, find the number of unit cubes and find the volume. So what we really focused on today is having students visualize a rectangular prism or a cube as multi-layered cubes inside. All right, so thinking about volume is, um, and remembering that volume is how much space an object takes up, we really think about the inside of that shape. And we also wanted students to think about the fact that a 3D shape has three dimensions, height, length, and width, which in the past we've only worked with two dimensions, width and length, and now we're adding in that third dimension of height. So we're really wanting them to visualize that as small cubes and layers. So. If I'm looking at finding the number of unit cubes and the volume, those two things are going to be the same answer. So try to encourage your student not to get frustrated by that. Um, it's the exact same thing. How many unit cubes are inside should be the volume. It's just two different ways of thinking about it. So when I look at how many cubes I have going across, which is the length, I have one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I know that I've got five going across on every single layer. I've got five here, five here, five here, which means that I've got one, two, three, four going back. All right, four going back in every single layer. And then I also have one, two, three going up, which is going to help me when I'm thinking about the third dimension, height. I've got to know how tall it is, how many total layers I have. So students could count one, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four to know that they've got 20, and then count and um, multiply that by three to find 20 times three for a final answer of 60 unit cubes. Well, we also learned that the amount of unit cubes is the same as the volume because all I have to do to figure out the volume is take my length times my width times my height. And in this problem, my length is five, my width is four, and my height is three. So again, your student might enjoy counting and want to count all of the squares and think about it as a really visual model, and that's perfectly fine. But just encourage them and remind them that they're looking for the exact same information. However many unit cubes they have would be the same as the volume. So here, let's go ahead and analyze the second shape. I've got four unit cubes going across. I have four unit cubes going back. And I have two unit cubes going up. So I know that I've got one, two, three, four times one, two, three, four. So four times four is 16. And then I have two chunks of that. So I'm gonna double it now. They're stacked on top of each other to make that height to get me a final answer of 32 unit cubes, which would be the same answer as the volume, because again, volume is just length times width times height. The length is four, the width is four, and the height is two. If you have any other questions about finding volume and unit cubes, please make sure to see your math teacher.